Hello everyone, it's me Hunter and I'm back with another video. Today I have my heavily modified Hidden Side Shrimp Shack. Uh, for This is a build I've wanted to do ever since I uh, got a hold of the Hidden Side Shrimp Shack. Uh, first I bought the shrimp boat and many, probably almost two years ago now, I did a review on a modified uh, sh the modified shrimp boat from the same line. Now I'm finally bringing you the uh, shrimp shack I've wanted to build for a while now. This is going to be one of these builds that I keep together and keep up on probably like a top back corner in my room. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, really it was a quick build, quick modification, but um, really again it's just finding the time. I'm crazy busy with stuff. That's why there's been a lack of videos and really the only videos up have been uh, Clarity Custom Reviews up until recently. You had that uh, Resistance Tank, and then now you're getting this Hidden Side Shrimp Shack. I'm hoping to bring you more Star Wars stuff real soon as well, on top of custom uh, Clarity Custom Reviews. But, let's get back to the Shrimp Shack. So we're going to kind of go ahead, I'm going to talk about this a little bit, just because it's very different uh, from, well I guess very different and very similar from the set you buy. So right off the bat, when I got the set, I actually built the original set um, and then went ahead to start modifying it. So I built it, and I liked it. There were some things I liked. I liked having an outside eating area. I liked the, um, I really liked the look of the shack itself, except for the open back. Um, I liked, I love the sign. I think a lot of people say they love the sign. Uh, the diner part of the sign, that's kind of probably hit or miss, just because it's not really a diner. It's definitely more of a shack, but... Um, it is a very nice looking sticker. I don't say that about many stickers. Most stickers to me kind of just, okay, yeah, they finished the look, but they're eh. I was like, okay, this diner sticker is pretty cool. I got to make sure I include it. Obviously, everyone loves the giant shrimp on it. So that sign is pretty much untouched from the uh, original set, except I obviously made the shrimp completely red, not half ghost, half, not ghost. Um, then I went ahead and I put it back on it, uh, which some will look at here in a uh, couple seconds. But... I think another big modification you see here is I uh, kind of put a pretty much a boardwalk or, uh, you know, put in a deck patio kind of around the whole shack. So the idea for this is I could put this in a mock. Let's say I did a large beach landscape or I did a kind of outskirts of the city along a, a lake shore set. I was like, oh, you know, it'd be really cool to kind of have this little shack. People drive up and stop by on their uh, road trips, uh, you know, only having a few tables and whatnot, or maybe the locals stop by a lot. Just a fun little shack, nothing crazy, not like a building you put into your modular buildings, but something you might be able to put on a base plate and then put that base plate into your modular city. Uh, kind of getting back to my original thing, uh, I went ahead and I left kind of this upfront railing. I changed it up a little bit. Uh, it's pretty fragile because, as you can uh, probably, it's hard to tell, but basically it's a one by six, a one by one, and another one by six tile. It got right there, so the one by six is only connected on uh, one stud with the uh, middle post having that one by one in the middle. It just gave me the distance and the proportions I needed to try to balance everything out. This is actually built on two 16 by 16 plates. Uh, those large plates we've been getting from Lego in a lot of sets. I think a lot of friend sets have them. That's a good place to find them um, if you're looking for sets. Otherwise, you can find them obviously online. Um, but I use that kind of as my base. I put some bricks underneath it so we could get that walkway. I went ahead and I kept those buoys out front. I thought our life preservers, whatever you want to call them, I thought they looked real nice. Um, that when you just look at the building, I'm going to try to continue with this general overview and then we'll dive in and we'll get a little closer and look at everything in depth a little bit. Uh, but the shack itself, it's exactly the same, uh, pretty much exactly the same as the one on the set, except there's a back wall. Uh, I, I think I increased the depth of it by two studs and then I changed the door up on the left side. Obviously, I also got rid of the ladder and everything to get up top. Uh, that was a big change, but otherwise this shack is just that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn around here right now. We're still at the full thing and then we'll go ahead and we'll get even closer. So when you turn around look at the back side. Uh, I wanted to get a third window in there but apparently I did not have a third brown window frame. Um, and that's okay. Uh, it's not that big of a concern. Really uh, the big reason for adding in those windows is when you take off the roof, you can at least get some more light in there and look around and everything's not real dark. But as you can see, the back side's very plain. Uh, I do have a walkway on the right side. 
uh, that allows you to enter or allows you to access the door on the side. Uh, kind of the idea would be is this is built into like where the sand and the grass probably meet along a shoreline. So this would be either right up against the grass or this would probably even be uh, you know a couple feet back in the grass and whatnot. Um, but you can design it however you want. We'll go ahead and actually we'll stay outside, check out the dining area. Um, if it's not obvious, I'm leaning over my camera, so uh, when uh, my voice changes, that's probably going to be why. So I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. So looking down there, uh, I just put in three tables, and then you have a kind of an order window or a food pickup window. Uh, though a place like this in real life probably wouldn't have um, some waitresses. The set did come with them, so I went ahead and I left them in here. If I ended up buying that uh, modular diner, I probably would have put these waitresses there. But because they came with a set, I thought it'd be nice. Maybe you'd, you know you only have a couple seats here, or maybe this is just uh, the first bit of seating, and there's more seats to the back or uh, towards us here on the side of the build. But you have uh, two waitresses just delivering food, and I put several uh, people out there either enjoying food or waiting for their food to come in. Uh, Again, the building is exactly, at least uh, the front and the sides are pretty much exactly the same. So having the second window, which I think is, or the side window, which is always meant to be a uh, pickup window. Uh, I just thought it would work great. And having those waitresses just adds more people. Um, gives it that kind of busy, small town, tourist town feel to it. Uh, for anyone who's been to like kind of a lakeside town or uh, just a small town up north, you know they get busy. Uh, as we bring it forward, you can actually see we got a, a scuba diver coming in, uh, ready to order some food. The roof just pops right off. It just sits on a couple uh, jumper plates and whatnot. And then if we move everything, sorry, I'm trying to get used to this new setup here, um, but it might be hard to see. I'm going to bring this as close as I can. I'm going to tip the camera down. As you can see, it's actually pretty hard to look in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the camera up and try to get you in there the best I can. Uh, but basically, if you own the set, it's exactly the same on the inside. I got rid of the actually, um, there's like a pipe that comes down in the middle. I got rid of that. Uh, I added a barrel in the one back corner for like a trash and then a big white cooler back here. Uh, the idea would be that you could... Uh, open it up i actually designed it it uses uh i'm trying to think of the proper term for the parts but basically they're those tiles that have uh, a backing on it so they come up almost like an l uh, so you can just take those tiles off the top and you can actually put uh, shrimp into it so readjusting my camera back, as you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit more diverse with what I'm showing people, trying not to have a stagnant camera, but it's, I think it's a little hard, uh, just a little bit. So trying to get everything back in shot here, let me go ahead and do that. My camera's actually almost out of battery as I try to record this. But trying to bring everything back into focus here. There we go. So that's everything right there. It's a pretty uh, simple build simple modification really it's just pretty much a bunch of tiling and some small inside changes uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you like the idea of this video i didn't want to do jump cuts in between just to show you up close stuff i try to want to keep it all flowing in one uh shot or one take let me know if you like that if you didn't like that we'll go back to overview shots um cutting to close-up shots then cutting back out for a uh kind of outro or to review everything. That's kind of how I do some of my larger mocks, or at least how I used to when I had my old camera. New camera allows me to flow a little better, so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, I know it's not a Star Wars build, so I apologize for anyone who's been waiting for a new Star Wars build. Uh, I have them planned. I really do. It's just very... Uh, I don't have the time. I had a couple days off from school, so I went ahead and I cranked this out. I want to thank you all for being patient. Uh, please comment below um, what you thought of this build. Um, I can't promise I'd do more like this, but I do have um, the signal box for my Wellsworth mock. I actually just did an interior, so I will be doing a video on that. But otherwise, I can't really promise you my what my next mock is going to be just due to my busy schedule. 
Once again, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you kind of like this one large take style down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, uh, I don't know what else to say. So outside of that awkward long pause, I will see you in my next video.